Banana peppers. Forgive me for not turning on the big, big ring light today, but I am trying to give my eyes just a little bit of a break. Let me see if I have, oh my gosh. Do you guys ever get this feeling? Is this TMI? Do you guys ever get this like this <laughs> tacky feeling on the edges of your mouth? Like if you've just eaten candy or had like a very sugary drink and you almost feel like as if you're sort of foaming on the mouth. I mean, do you know when you eat a piece of chocolate and then you will get chocolate on the edges of your mouth? I, fe I feel that feeling right now and it's like, quasi freaking me out because I feel like that's some of the most embarrassing stuff that ever happened to me when I was a kid is I would eat chocolate and I would have chocolate around my mouth and I would just walk around at school and I would notice in the mirror that I had chocolate around my mouth. Does this story make just the teensiest little bit of sense? I don't know why that's so embarrassing to me. There's so many things that I probably should be embarrassed of that I'm not embarrassed of and yet having chocolate or something around the edges of my mouth is just the most cringiest thing that I can think of. But today, you guys, it's gonna be kind of like an unboxing and kind of like a haul, I guess. Kind of like the last video that we just did. But uh, I just got a box in the mail today from Yes Style. I talk about that website all the time. Um, but this is not something I ordered. This is just something that was, it just arrived in my house today as a surprise. And so I thought I would open it. I started cutting it open and then um, some more TMI tidbits for your day. I like literally sliced my finger open. I'm a pretty good box cutter because that is like my other job in life is cutting boxes open. Uh, but today I just, and it was so stupid because I wasn't even using like a box cutter. I was using like a little pair of scissors. I was using the Wreck-It Wednesday scissors and I accidentally, is this is this too disgusting? I accidentally like grabbed the blade part of the scissors and it just like ugh, really got me. It didn't feel good. Um, and so here I am. Also, you guys, I'm kind of in a wacky place right now with like all the videos that I had intended to film uh, for Graveyard Girl because... I wanted to film another Wreck-It Wednesday and I thought I had gotten this product in the mail already because I ordered the egg sitter. I've gotten so many requests to do that product. It looks silly. That's probably like one of the silliest named products I think we've ever tried or that they've ever marketed the egg sitter. Uh, so I, yeah, I got flawless legs. I've been wanting to try that forever, but I literally just shaved my legs and then I got flawless legs in the mail. So now I'm like, well, I have no hair to shave. Um, and I think the egg sitter is supposed to come tomorrow. So hopefully that will be Sunday's video. I'm also waiting to do a Sephora haul. That stuff hasn't gotten here yet. So I don't know. I was kind of in a weird mood with what to film for Graveyard Girl tonight. So we're on Banana Peppers instead because anything goes on this channel. Also, sneak peek to everybody. I'm so excited. I just got this in the mail today as well. It is gorgeous. It's by one of my absolute favorite jewelry designers, uh, Bella Lili. I always call her Bella Lili, but I'm, I'm almost scared it's not Lily, I'm almost scared it's like Lily. I don't know. Uh, but she just came out with this gorgeous new design called Gemini, and I have one to give away to you guys. So mine came today. I'm trying to decide how I want to do the giveaway. If I just want to do it on Instagram, if I want to do it on both channels, if I want to do it on no channel. Anyway, uh, here's some stuff from Yes Style, and I just I started cutting open the box and I saw what was on top, and I was like, oh my gosh, we should just open this together. Cause I don't know what this is, but look at him. Oh my gosh, it's a cat. And I was so scared because I was like cutting open the box, you know, crudely, as I always do, like in a in a stabbing motion. And uh and I was like, oh my god, it's like a it's like a fluffy fluffkins. Did I stab him? Oh my gosh. Oh, nope, nope, no stab. <sighs> Thank goodness. That would have been I would have I would have honestly probably cried. <laughs> um, he is so cute. It's a giant body pillow, and it's like a red cat. Doesn't he look so cute? Oh my gosh, he has buttons on his hands. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so one side he has a button, one side he has a loop so that you can make him hug something. That is so cute. He can be a little buddy. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna pop the tag though because it's kind of getting in the way of his adorable expression. Say hello to the happy people. Uh, and then he's got a little butt tail. You know, as all cats should. 
Although I think that there are some kind of cats with no tails, right? Um, reflect on that. Why am I sippy sippy? Ooh, you guys. I also, um, you know what? Do I just, I don't, I don't even want to continue to be like, here's my, here's my list of injuries. Oh, it's a box. I was like, what? It's a lid. Um, I somehow like must have flopped in my dreams. Whoa, I didn't even know this shirt has this gargantuan surprise hole in the back. Uh, I must have like been flopping around last night in my dreams though, because I have pulled some kind of back muscle. I, sometimes I do feel like I'm just like, how are you this unable to equip? Unable to equip in life. Unable to function. Yeah. Um... But I don't know, maybe I feel like I've been having like a lot of nightmares lately. I'm, I'm just coming here with a, just one thrilling story after the next lately. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know why, because I've been watching kind of like the same kind of stuff we always watch to fall asleep. Although, you know what? I have been watching a lot of those like scary story narrations on YouTube lately that I love. Oh my gosh, there's been two really good ones lately. And I can't remember if it's from Let's Read or Darkness Prevails because I've been watching both of them a lot lately, but one is Girl Scout horror stories and then the other one was grocery store horror stories and I loved both of those. I'll try and find the links to them and I will link you guys down below if you love like scary story narrations. I live by them. I probably watch like every single narration channel there is. So the other thing in the box is this gorgeous purple box and it's pretty heavy. So I don't know what is gonna be inside it might just be a couple things it might be a lot of things it might be one really heavy thing we don't know because I just took the lid off and it's and it's boo -boo wrap oh my god oh this is exciting okay um let's see oh my gosh so many cute and exciting things in here oh this is so cool I've always wanted to try one of these I just keep making comments and you guys can't see anything that's in here it looks like there's lots of fun and exciting goodies um so a lot of k beauty j beauty i don't know if i've ever talked about yes style on this channel i know i mentioned them a lot on graveyard girl i'm sure people are like speculating all over the place that it's some sort of like paid deal every time i mention them but it's just like they reached out to me and i look at the website it's it's I know I've compared it to Dolls Kill before. It's just like sometimes I find websites that I really just like love the stuff that they offer and then I just end up looking there every day. Plus anyone I've ever spoken to at the company is just extremely nice and helpful. So just overall, um, it's it's like a Dolls Kill experience for me. It's just, it's just, it's just a good experience. Um, so the very first thing we have, I always thought would be fun. I feel like I should try this in a video. It's an eyebrow template. So you hold this thing. I'll take the sticker off so you guys can see a little bit more of the details, but I think I'm going to save it because um, I actually have stockpiled like a bunch of new makeup to try out like a whole bunch of first impressions. So it would be kind of fun to try this tool out as well, but you hold it by this little handle and then you can do both of your brows at once. It's like a little plastic template. So cute. Up next, we have some cute little sunglasses. Now I'm going to say cute. I feel like every time I film on this channel, I just somehow attach myself to one word. And then I'm like, that's so cute over and over again. For some reason, this reminds me of strawberry lemonade, I guess, because it's pink and yellow. Ooh, I really like those. I really, really like them um moving along these were actually products that i had specially requested i want to do a whole first impression friday on these this is every color that they offer but i'll go ahead and show you guys what one of them looks like today they are by the uh the brand is cali jume i think that's how you pronounce it but they were the ones i think it was last year or was it 2016 they came out with that like viral clear lipstick that had the little flower inside do you guys remember that but now I think they came out with well I don't think I see I think it's called black rose moisturizing lipstick and I think every single color of lipstick comes in a black tube so it's just like what am I looking at so that is what it looks like and you probably can't tell because I can't I can tell that the camera is not focusing oh my gosh it is 
So they're all just like black lipstick, but it's not actually black. Um, cause this one is called orange rose. So I'm assuming it's going to be an orangey color, but you know what? I should do this for like this coming first impression Friday. So we don't have to wait now this coming Friday. So that's still kind of like a week away. It's still a little bit of a wait. So I think there's six different colors. Did I already say that? It looks like six. Do we have six? We do. Uh, okay. Up next is something I have always wanted to try. And I was literally just thinking of this earlier today. And I was like, oh, how sad is it that I don't remember how to play Candy Crush? I got so into Best Fiends that I stopped playing Candy Crush altogether. And I saw a commercial earlier today for Candy Crush. And I was like, oh my gosh, I literally probably couldn't even beat one level anymore. But I remember seeing this stuff. And I think it is kind of spooky to be like a play on Candy Crush. You know what? Let's go ahead and open it and see what's going on here because I think that this is a face wash dispenser by the brand Candy Oh Lady. How cute is that? So it actually works I think like a real gumball machine except for obviously you don't have to put any money in it but you know what? Maybe this is like a bank slot so you can't. Oh my gosh you could put money in it. Although I don't think I'd ever put money like where I put like a face product do you know what i mean so it looks like you just open up the lid and then you get two boxes of these which might be the same thing yes okay they're both called candy crush cleansers so they come in these little tins and it looks like it's just two refill containers i feel like it's maybe getting a little bit cleaner in here we started cleaning it the other day but i i actually started like emptying out the supply closet back there and kind of trying to reorganize it and so i didn't end up like cleaning everything out here it's just you guys i feel like i always have to like clean and organize stuff because there's just so much going on all the time so it's these little balls and I'm not sure if it's picking up correctly on camera, but they are all different pastel shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump them. Oh my gosh, and we're losing some balls along the way. I'm losing my marbles. <laughs> um, okay, I'm trying to, oh, you know what? Maybe you have to dump both. Yeah, okay, I feel like that's why they give you two is because, especially if you lose some along the way, um, one container doesn't fill it up so let's go ahead and dump the other one in there so we can see what the little candy gumball dispenser looks like all filled with the cleansers oh my gosh if i drop one more i'm gonna scream um i'm usually not this clumsy when it oh my gosh why am i this way why am i this way why i've lost like half of this container it's actually depressing. <laughs> oh my gosh. They smell so good though. And they, they feel so good. And I literally just lost like 10 of them on the floor. <laughs> so now that I'm touching them anyway, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Oh my gosh. They feel so soft and like they would make a fizzy powder. That's what, wow. They smell so fresh. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use one of these. The ones I have left. Uh, let me see if I can read what it's supposed to do. Oh my gosh. Okay, how to use. Take one from the can, place it in your hand, put water on top of the product, then make some bubbles and clean your face with it. Wash your face with warm water after cleansing. Very simple. So I'm going to be excited to test and see if it is like uh, the exfoliating powders that I love so much. Let's go ahead and crank one more out so you guys can just see the... That is so cute did you guys see it or was i blocking it with my hand i don't know i'll only know once i import the footage and then it will be too late ah oh my gosh i'm trying to open it again now to put this little guy back we will worry with that later oh my gosh okay i am so excited because you guys may know my recent obsession with this little character named hoodie ryan and at first i thought he was a teddy bear but now i have since learned thanks to you guys that he's actually a lion without a mane and i think that they are starting to run out of these products 
which just makes me cry because they have been some of my favorite discoveries. I know I've shown you guys um, on Graveyard Girl on Yes Style hauls in the past. Like I've gotten like shea butter uh, because it's from the face shop. And if you guys remember a long time ago last year, we did a video on the Simpsons face shop collection. It's actually like a really good skincare brand, but I found like lotions, facial moisturizers, all kinds of stuff that have all come in this adorable hoodie Ryan packaging and I tried to reorder some of it the other day and they were sold out but this I believe so these are called mini makeup bars and this one is the volume cover bar and this one is the sweet tone up bar so they each have three different um liquid cosmetics inside and so um one i think is obviously like concealers and one oh my gosh this is so cute so it actually has like one broader cap on the top and oh my gosh and then they have like little it almost looks like little bottles of nail polish so i think that this one is going to be like a contour shade so let's brush it on. Oh, it's got like a little doe foot applicator. So let's do a little swatchy swatch. Wow, that is actually like great color payoff. That's a perfect shade for me. Um, but normally for K-Beauty, you don't get anything that has this much pigment in it. That is a lot of pigment. Uh, but once you blend it out and of course like layer it with foundation and highlight and everything like that, like I feel like it's showing up. See, like as I'm blending it out, it's like looking, I mean, this is definitely like the shade of contour that I use all the time. That is super awesome. So let's see what the designs look like on this box. Bottles, box and bottles. Oh my gosh, he's holding a little ice cream so this one he's holding a bar of chocolate and this one he is holding ice cream so cute so these are like highlight and contour and this is like color correction you have lavender green and like a peach and i just pointed at the wrong colors when i did that um up next we have a um innis free snoopy setting powder and this is so adorable i think i got um I feel like I got another product from this. This is, did I just say the brand is Innisfree? Um, which is another K-Beauty brand, I believe. I don't think that's J-Beauty, but I have been loving all of the Snoopy stuff that they've had lately. So let's go ahead and open it up. Um, and you know what? Maybe this is a brand called Jeju, G E. Oh wait, J-E-J-U. I'm like literally looking at the letters and still somehow saying it wrong. Did I just say J? No. What did I just say? Ugh. Uh, yes. Okay, so it is, um, a nice loose powder. And I think it has an ingredient in it to control sebum, uh, which is always a good thing. And you guys, I'm finally glad that my skin is getting a little bit better right now although I do feel like I'm having like a little bit of breakout on my chin it's so crazy I have had more breakouts in the month of February than I have had in I do not remember how long up next we have a beauty by earth self tanner which is so crazy that it's in than here uh because I keep thinking about self tanning for just a minute like I know I don't want to like commit to that life again uh because it is a lot of work a lot of upkeep uh but i kind of have just been feeling like you know just well okay first of all like i am in the process right now of gathering the supplies to do the like i followed somebody's makeup tutorial but then i want to go back and follow one of my own makeup tutorials from like when i first got on youtube which is gonna be laughable and i was obsessed with self tanning so i feel like that's just like an element that i should commit to for that video so that will be a fun one to try up next we have a 
brand that I've never tried before. This is called Faith in Face and it says, aha, peels so good. Uh, this is a skin renewal solution. It removes dead skin cells to unblock pores so that you can rejuvenate your skin. Um, very exciting. So I think that this is going to be... What was that thing we got the last time I did a Sephora um, play unboxing? But it was like a cream that I put on my skin. Do you guys remember that moment if you watched that video? Uh, we're gonna try it again on my arm. But I think I'll be able to rub this and yeah, see, oh my gosh, I feel like this one is like even more effective. This is totally disgusting. Let me share my dead skin with you. Uh, but it's just like a gentle exfoliant. Look at all of that dead skin. Are you guys seeing that? Oh my gosh, let's sell that on eBay. Um, so I have like recently introduced like products like that in my life because I feel like it's a better alternative to get like a smoother complexion for makeup application than shaving my face. I will never do that again, so long as I ever live. Um, so up here, up here in the sky, we have fashion eyelashes and these are red and black false eyelashes this is so crazy and cool it's like a metallic red and black lash I don't even know if you guys are gonna see the red color really you're probably just seeing like the reflective that's wild and so cool also I love wearing red makeup all the time because I feel like it goes really well with blue eyes. Up next, I think that this is a luggage tag. And oh my gosh, it is. Okay, it's called envelope style luggage tag. And it looks so cute. Oh, whoa, it's like rubbery. That's so wild. So you can write your name and information and all of that on the front. And then on the back, oh, it just looks like that. I thought you had to open it up. You guys know those like manila envelopes where you, um, have to like twist a cord around to open them. I used to um, work in a legal office, a law office like a million years ago when I was still in college. So manila envelopes were like just part of my life. Uh, up next, we have a shoe Emura product. I never know if I am saying this right or not, but they just came out with pretty recently a Super Mario collection and it's amazing. And I think that they sold out before I had the chance to snag them, but they had a set of brushes that had like the little gold coins on it so cute and i think that this is gonna be a lipstick and it looks so adorable it has princess peach on it everything from this collection was adorable yes okay so this says rouge unlimited supreme matte lipstick oh my gosh look at the inside of the box it has little like 8-bit marios all over it oh my gosh and we just got one of those um Super Nintendo, was that what it was called? The Super Nintendo minis that Nintendo just came out with like last year or was it earlier this year? I do not remember. And so we've been playing that like crazy, but look at how cute this is. I love the hot pink transparent uh, lipstick tube. You have Mario on one side, Princess Peach on the other. It says Super Mario Brothers and then it's got like brick. I mean you guys can see it. I don't really need to be like and then this is a star uh, and then this is a brick but ooh, look at that and perfect for my life. It is the color red I'm really getting back into classic graveyard girl style where I'm like wearing camo every single day and red lipstick every single day. I don't know how I fell out of that, but I'm back. Um, let's see what we have next. Oh my gosh, this looks adorable. And you guys know I'm gonna love it. It's a pencil pouch, but I will probably use it for makeup brushes. And this is Paper Doll Mate is the name of it. And oh my gosh it feels so cool okay what does this it's called an oil cloth flat pouch the texture feels so pleasant i don't even know how to describe it it feels like kind of ridged like where if you 
rubbed your nails on it it would like that make that but it doesn't it doesn't it's pleasant um and then she like it's it's exactly like a paper doll which obviously is like near and dear to my heart because i have my own paper doll book and then the little zipper is a little pastel blue heart this is so cute i'm so gonna use this for makeup brushes and then it's polka dot on the inside ah okay I am living. This is honestly like if I made an order for myself, truthfully. Um, up next, we have a hilarious looking face mask. It's called Banana Man. <laughs> and look at him. He's like a Cupid banana. Banana Man. And let's see if I can find out what this does for you. Uh, after cleansing and toner, use it for 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I don't see what it's supposed to do though. I'm gonna have to look it up. It just says that it is a pomegranate mask, which I have had pomegranate masks before and I love them. Dude, Banana Man is out of control. Somebody come get Banana Man. Plus I love this like style of packaging. I've had some other masks that it's like this uh, and it's almost like a metallic. Like I always call this like infinity look because a lot of times they make notebooks and stuff and they'll have this design and it kind of just reflects off of every angle. I feel like nine tenths of what I'm saying today probably sounds like it makes no sense. I should just stop while I'm not ahead. Um, up next, it looks like we have a belt. And this is gonna be cute. I can tell that I'm gonna love it. Uh, it's got a little, oh my gosh, the buckle is even a heart. This is so cute. Okay, so it's a faux leather black belt and the buckle is a heart. And then it has like a little dangly heart accent on it. And this is so cute. You guys, I'm working on a massive like fashion video right now. And I'm so excited because I think that this can be part of one of the days. But look at that. Hopefully it is showing up because it is so cute and I'm loving it so much. Um, okay, and let's see. Oh, it's more Cadage May lipsticks. And oh my gosh. Okay, so here are three more of those flower lipsticks that I was telling you about. And I think that these are three colors that I have never had um, because this is an orange one. And I'm gonna love that because I've also really gotten back into wearing orange lipstick as well. So do you guys remember this lipstick from so long ago? I really cannot remember if this was last year or the year before. Ooh, this one has, did they always have gold flecks in it? I don't remember. I felt like it was just the flower inside before. So this one has an orange flower and a bunch of gold flecks. That looks so pretty. Um, and then we have a red one. And maybe this is the one that I had before because generally if there's always like a choice to get red, I get red. Um, but the flower inside actually looks more like hot pink. And it also has lots of gold flecks inside. They must have always had gold flecks. You guys, I feel like I'm always like seeing so many products all the time that it's like hard for me to remember products that I've seen like a couple of years ago. And then this is a pink shade. So I should tell you guys the shades, right? So the orange one is called Minute Maid. The red one is Flame Red. And then this one is called Barbie doll powder and oh my gosh that has such a pretty little baby pink flower on the inside look at that so cute uh let's try the orange one even though I have not a stitch of makeup on my face today I've actually been wearing makeup like every single day lately and so I figured that my face could use a break so let's put on the orange one And I realize how boring this is with me not talking. Ooh, it smells really good. It almost smells like gum. So you guys, I feel like the Minute Maid one is actually a little bit pink. So I don't know, maybe they're all different shades of pink and it doesn't really matter like what it's called. Cause I feel like I remember the one that I got a couple years ago it was like a pink shade. You guys, 
the lighting on this camera is acting crazy. Okay, we have another mask and this is called the Red Ruby Hydrogel Mask. And I'm gonna be kind of excited to see if it looks, oh my gosh, look, they show on the back of the package like it is gonna be like a red gel mask. You guys, look out. I will post a picture of this on Snapchat. Um, the red gel mask containing ruby powder and pomegranate extract makes skin look healthy and radiant by providing moisture and vitality to tired skin. So since Banana Man is also pomegranate, maybe that is also for like refreshing, tired looking skin. Up next, we have these two little boxes that look similar. And these are from Etude House and these are called mini to match color mixes and I'm trying to remember if Etude House is a Japanese makeup brand or a Korean makeup brand um oh my gosh this is so cute wow do these like stack or something I don't know um these are so cute though look at this I'm just like loving this right now okay so here's what the two little tubes look like. I'm assuming that they are lipsticks, but that is like such cute packaging. Don't they almost look like little miniature lint rollers? Whoa. And look at the shape of this. That is so crazy. Look at that. What's going on here? Um, I actually want to read if this is for the eyes or the lips. Mini Lipstick provides the perfect combination for your lips by matching your color and texture. Handy Mini Lipstick. Um, easy attach and detach function with magnet. I don't get it. I think, oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cute. Look, you can like make one larger product that's so cute okay so how many times have I said that's so cute and then this one is like a hot pink shade okay I already have a swatch on my lips so I'm gonna swatch this one on my hand actually on my arm that might be cleaner especially where I just rubbed my skin off oh my gosh you guys I wish I had not put anything on my lips because I just want to know what this is gonna look like on my mouth because on my arm it looks mustard yellow and I am so impressed so let's just leave that there for a minute and let's see what it's gonna do okay um this I am quite excited about and I think yes okay this is one of the two-tone shadow bars and I think I want to get all of the colors for this um because it's like and I put that one up so I don't have it in here anymore but do you guys remember when I showed y'all the Laneige uh, two-tone lipsticks a while ago? Well, they also have two-tone eyeshadow bars. So this is called uh, Number One Milky Way Burgundy. And it looks really similar to the lipstick packaging. It's actually like identical pretty much. So you open the cap. Oh, there's a safety seal. Imagine that. Uh, do we feel like this is changing colors on my lips or is it staying the same? Um, um, that's so cute. <laughs> uh, so if I say, uh, one more time, you have to hit me with a rock. So it also has the same function. You just crank up the product and it's like a liner and an eyeshadow all in one. And I am so ready to try these in a video. I feel like these are making for a good first impression Friday. You guys, oh my gosh, I thought I just rubbed yellow lipstick on my nose. That would have been excellent. I feel like I have got to start, I feel like I'm doing pretty good with Wreck-It Wednesday, but I wanna start getting back into like first impression Friday and stuff. And I feel like every week I miss Friday and then I'm like, oh, now I have to wait an entire another week. And then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do it in time, but this time, and then I don't. I'm like, oh my gosh, why am I this way? Uh, okay, looks like we are getting to the bottom of our little box here. So we have three of the Etude House Wonder Fun Park Glitter Pigments. And if you guys watch one of my other Yes Style hauls on Graveyard Girl, then you probably remember seeing the Hair Mist from the Wonder Park collection. Um, I'm not sure how old this collection is, um, but I thought it was so cute because it all looks like little theme park things. 
so we have three wow these look like flake glitters as well you know what i feel like i should save these and put them in a giveaway because you guys know i am a little little scared of glitters but they are so gorgeous wait can i not give them away now because i've touched them they're all still safety sealed but i don't know now i feel like i shouldn't have taken them out of the box i don't know it's such gorgeous glitter though look at these they're like flake glitter almost it looks so cute i don't know but now i'm torn if i can give it away honestly because i don't know uh all right we have a, another mask and this actually looks like a set of masks because it is in a box and i'm peeling the sticker off so messily so this is the returning platinum mask but it's in a box so i think we have more than one and this is by doctor's lab and it looks like we have three in here so this is a functional mask sheet with returning brightening barrier complex and triple layer i can't read that word because there's a sticker over it type creates a synergy effect uh to return dull skin into glowing and youthful skin 93 percent of centella azacta extract to support clear skin that is what i need so we get four in here of the platinum masks i love masks uh and then it looks like the last thing we have in here is a paper doll book and how exciting is this this looks so cool it's got like a little retro tv on the front i feel like today's video has been extremely long so <sighs> I'm not even gonna say I'm sorry because I feel like you guys like longer videos, but I definitely feel like this has got to be one of the really longer videos. Um, and I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell or not, but in the oh, in the bottom of the box, there's like all these pretty little like flower petal things. It still makes me think of Valentine's Day. And I can't believe I never got, I don't know if it's too late because I already have the new ones of the new, um, what is that one called? Japanese snack crate and Kira Kira crate, which is like um, more K and J skincare stuff. And I wanted to open those other two boxes because they were like the February box and I never got around to it. And now I'm like, it's March. Um, anyway, let's look at some paper dolls. Um, I bet they're gonna be, oh my gosh, they are so cute i'm not showing you guys anything i'm being really terrible at this look at these i feel like these are like so colorful look at that so cute they're all so different oh my gosh this is adorable i know the glare is terrible oh that's cute i feel like this would also make really cute wrapping paper but it's a little bit thick for that because it is paper dolls oh my gosh look at all the bunnies so cute this is like a really thick book of paper dolls too these are so adorable well you guys i feel like this was a really fun box to open up i feel like we got a lot of exciting things to look at and i am so grateful to yes style for sending this over because it's just so sweet to get a nice little present in the mail um so you guys you have to like check them out and you can type in any of these brands like Hallie Jemay um and I will see if I remember to link them um it's a lot easier of course like when I've like ordered the products myself because then I have like the list already uh but I will see I will see if I remember when I'm importing and uploading this video <gasps> I feel like I need some coffee, you guys. I was up till nine o'clock this morning because my sleep schedule is just, of course, of course, it's out of control again. So I might actually try and pull it back a little bit tonight and see if I can finally like fix it for once and for all. But of course, what am I drinking right now? Coffee. Uh, but thank you guys so much for hanging out today and for watching. We have tons of things to unbox. I am so excited. I just found, I will show you guys because I can't believe I just found this. I must have bought these forever ago at Toy Joy. But I found a bunch of uh, Rement 
that are these 80s collection so cute i feel like we have like six of those i found a bunch of old um dunnies that i never opened probably like at least six of those um a bunch of lego uh surprise disney mini figurines look at that i just like bought all these supplies and then never did the videos and then i have some of these dunnies which are uh i never know how to say this brand but they look like they're gonna be really really cool as well you guys tons of them um some sums in here we have a ton of mystery things to unbox on this channel and i am very excited about that but uh i love you guys stay happy stay healthy stay sassy and i will see you guys again very very soon i love y'all bye